at 5, House Patrol in the streets of Jackson, Megan. 7 a.m. 16 WABT's Tammy Eswick reports JPD is planning to use cops to help yeah, clean so unkempt homes. Yeah, we've heard this all before. Dial 311 and the city of Jackson will come out and fix and clean up a property like this. Well, things are a little bit different now. See, the city has transferred the code enforcement department to the Jackson Police Department. So they're hoping that this mess can get cleaned up a whole lot faster. When are you going to um, get rid of these old abandoned houses? They got grass thrown around them, and all the yards just make Jackson look trashy. Inmate labor, the driving force behind a new plan to clear Jackson's rundown properties like this one on Greenview Drive. JPD says they're teaming up with the Hines County Sheriff's Department to clean up falling over houses with piles of trash in the yard and. Uh, with overgrown grass, which creates a bad look for the city of Jackson. Neighbors along Cox Street say they've had to deal with dilapidated properties, too. Take a look at this home. Neighbors tell us a fire destroyed it about five years ago. Since then, grass and weeds have grown up around the home. And this home right next door, they say it's been like this for at least a decade. Neighbor Jasmine Stewart says it's a common problem and a breeding ground for criminals and vagrants. Yeah, a lot of drugs and a lot of homeless people. You know, going in and out, and that also causes a problem. The city of Jackson says if it's a city or state owned property, they simply clean it up. Private properties are a little different. So let's say it's privately owned. Are you charging the private owner for having to do that? Yes. Yeah. The department says the price will vary property to property. We are first going to uh, try to persuade through our court system to get the owner to address his own issues, but if we find that he is not doing it in a timely fashion, then we will clean it in. Of course, go after that property owner to pay for the expenses of cleaning that property. Back on Cox Street, Stewart says she likes the idea of using inmate labor. I think that will work good. And hopes it will help to clean up her block, too. So the Jackson Police Department says if you have properties like this in your backyard, Megan, make sure you call 311 so they can take down that information and try to get them, try to get them cleaned up. Live in Jackson, Tammy Eswick, 16 WAPT News. Okay, Tammy, thank you.